This life from eBay, almost hundred dollar. Same is for Honda Jazz. This is my DIY daytime run light. This light cost me less than ten bucks. DIY. What I need to do now is to put this um, daytime running light into this position. It is slightly bigger. So what I have to do is I need to cut this corner. Okay, before I do it, I just mark it. Basically, here is the mark I need to cut. Therefore, the light can sitting on this uh, surface. Okay, once finished, it will be like this. The next step, that's the marine grey uh, group. Amazing. Okay. So, let's get a few more marine group. Okay. I removed the, the top part. Okay. Get some fresh marine group. What I do is just up, up high to this plastic panel. I got one left hand side, one right hand side. The next step is waterproof plug. Now, what I need to do now is I need to connect a male plug to this wire. Perfect. I'll do the rest like it. And what I want to show you now is a few dollar daytime running light controller. Less than ten bucks I buy from eBay. Now this controller is fully automatic. Only have five fires. Okay. The incoming power, red is for the positive, black of course is the negative for the uh, battery. You can connect this direct to your battery. It has fuse protection. So that's the fuse. It's a 3, 3M fuse. And then you found that it also has a white color wire. Now this wire, um, they recommend you to connect to um, low beam. Uh, what I found is um, I will connect this wire to parking light or position light. That means when you turn the light switch, um, the first click or the first position 
would be the position light or we call um, parking light so if this white color wire you attach to a 12 volt the power output of this controller will reduce, reduce by 30 percent usually it's uh, at light time uh, you don't want your daytime, daytime running light is too bright and have um, interference with other people the best is uh, lower the power so this unit will lower it by 30 percent now this controller itself is so called uh, fully automatic so what happening is it just sensitive uh, actually it sends the voltage of your battery terminal but of course when your car is running um, the generator or the dynamo has the power output to charge your battery so the voltage is higher so it, it detects the voltage um, I forgot I think it's about 13.6 or 13.7 volt and then uh, it kicks in to provide power to your daytime running light of course when you shut down your car the battery uh, terminal voltage will drop once it drops to the cutoff power it would uh, switch off your data running light so basically it's fully automatic but when you have a 12 volt connect to this white color wire so what happening is it the power output of this controller would reduce by 30 percent so you got 70 percent and it will keep powering your your light without this if you put it on um, just the battery power and what I found is when you stop your car or when your generator output is, is lower than the cut-in voltage the light will turn it off by itself so if you're stuck in the traffic your car is stopped, is, uh, stopped the voltage drop and then you found that your light would be turned off so it depends on how frequency so it will keep on and off on and off until your car start running therefore it's called running light but I prefer something works continuously so what I normally do is I will connect this white color wire to position light when I get into my car I turn my light switch to um, position light or parking light I keep the light turning on so it doesn't matter I'm stuck in the traffic or driving in the highway but of course the light will be reduced by 30% uh, but I think it's still reasonable it's quite bright so I'm quite happy with that so to extend the life of this unit so I better keep the light on rather than the relay is cut in cut out cut in cut out but it's something simple it only cost me less than $10 but that's the parts you need to prepare for the uh, female plug Okay, when it's ready. Until you hear a click sound. Then, it's a locking. Done. The lock pin is in. All good. Last put this one. So now it is watertight. All good. <laughs> 